I'm Mr. Palmer here. I've got this next video in the file organization little mini series. Um, this one's about sequential files, okay? So, following up on serial files, basically, we're thinking about how sequential files organize and use, how do they improve upon serial files, and what problems are associated with sequential files. So, if you before you do this, remember you need to go over your notes on serial files because I just actually mentioned them two or three times, okay? So, with a serial file, basically, summary is data stored in the order in which it arrives, so it's in chronological order and data is appended to the end of the file. Okay, and In a sequential file, instead of storing it in time order, we're storing it in order of the key field. Okay, Now, um, basically what we're trying to say here is that you have a serial file where data is being appended as it arrives and at every, at every one, one uh, point in time that it's been pre-identified, basically this kind of specified interval, the data in the file is sorted in order to create the sequential file. Okay. Um, in order to insert records into the structure, basically you're copying records up to the new point of insert, you're inserting a record and you can copy the remainder of the file, replace the original file. There's another way of basically managing the process, okay, of uh, adding records to the sequential file. So this is one way of looking at it when you want to insert a record. So we want to insert record number 10, you basically create a temporary file, um, copy up to the point of insertion, enter the new record into there and then continue by copying the remaining records over and then similar to the deleting records from a serial file where you basically then delete the old file and rename the new one to point you so that the you now have something in memory that is the current file um, you can obviously see as well that if you wanted to delete a record you'd have to do something similar where you do you copy over the records apart from the ones that have been marked for deletion into a new file rename the delete the original file and rename the temporary okay so you still got the same problem here of doubling up of memory um, remember the other method i said of using a sequential file to add, adding data to a sequential file is you just add them in the order that they arrive and then at every specified interval you sort the um the date the database structure to get everything in the correct order okay um it's another problem another thing with the sequential file basically is um if we want to search for data okay so with a sequential file basically if you want to, to search for record number three i start at the beginning of the file and i do compare is three the same as key id one no it's not is it two no is it three yep found it and retrieve that data if i'm looking for record number five five and one no match five and two no match five and three no match five and four no match five and six not a match but also i can actually see that six is bigger than five so therefore, actually, the first test I'm doing is to see if the retrieve record is a larger key field than the record I'm looking for. If it is larger, then I'm going to return back an error message, basically, because what I'm saying that that record that I'm looking for doesn't exist. OK, so I'm actually search, I'm matching. I'm seeing if the return record is larger than the key field I'm looking for first. If it is in the record, I know it doesn't exist. Otherwise, if uh, I will move on and search for if it's not a match i move on and uh, access the next record okay so problems with the serial with the serial file you can see basically uh, one problem is that i've got this doubling up of memory still when uh, i'm inserting records or deleting records i don't know why i've got file written on there i'm supposed to say it should say records on it okay and obviously the other problem is if i'm using the alternative method where i'm basically adding pending data to the end of the file as it arrives and every required interval I have to perf basically perform a sort and get everything into order which uh, uh, has memory um, issues and time issues as well okay um, so basically you should be able to answer how sequential files are organized and used how they improve upon serial files but basically again those problems associated with the sequential file where you've got the doubling up of memory when you're deleting data or adding data using one method or you've got the problem where you have this time period and then you are sorting the serial file in order to get everything in sequential order. Okay, um, that's that. And so then the next one looks at index sequential files.